There are multiple ways you can connect Splash and Zoom. So before you get started, you'll want to figure out which option or options is best for your event. So the first thing you need to decide is if you'll be using Zoom meetings or Zoom webinars. Both Zoom products are similar, but webinars are designed to be host and panelist driven, whereas meetings are designed to be collaborative, with all participants able to screen share, use video and audio, and see who else is in attendance. Once you've decided whether you're going to use meetings or webinars, you can make a choice about how you're going to use Zoom with Splash. There are three easy options. Let's start with the option of embedding Zoom in Splash's virtual event page touchpoint. This offers the highest ceiling for design because Splash allows you to craft a unique, branded experience for each attendee interaction, starting with the point of registration, all the way through to the day of countdown screen, check-in screen, and live virtual event experience. The embed option also allows for a high level of audience interactions. Guests are able to participate in the chat, turn on their webcams, view the host's webcam, and see screen shares, although they cannot participate in breakout rooms or polls. The embed option also automates check-in, that's when a guest joins, and check-out, when a guest leaves, making post-webinar reporting a breeze. For certain types of events, you may want to use the virtual touchpoints link to stream capability. What that means is that guests are linked to Zoom the moment they check in using the virtual touchpoint. So with this option, the guest experience leading up to the event is identical to the embed option. The crucial difference is the event's viewing location. Where there are some trade-offs compared to the embed option is in three areas. One, the host doesn't have control over design or branding during the virtual event. Two, link to stream requires meeting participants to have the Zoom app downloaded which for certain audiences could present a challenge. And three, while check-in details are captured in Splash, time spent during the event is not. The last option is for Zoom webinar users only, and that's using Splash's native integration. While the email and registration experiences are fully designed and branded in Splash, the event itself will take place exclusively in Zoom. While this option has a lower ceiling for design, where it separates itself is automation and scale. By setting up the integration one time, every virtual event a team creates in Splash will create a corresponding Zoom webinar, sync registrants, send confirmation emails, and check in guests, all automatically. This is an excellent option for organizations that throw a ton of Zoom webinars. And there you have it. Some simple guidelines for how to choose a Splash Zoom solution for one of your events. For more information, head to the website on your screen.